Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today we're looking at Windows Phone Mango aka 7.5 and let's look at the Xbox Live Hub as you can see right here it hasn't changed too much but if you actually compare it to Noto you can see the scheme is a little bit different I think some of the animations might have slightly changed uh, we've seen the one where uh, it shows uh, Xbox Live in gold and it's a white tile uh, I don't know if that's coming down the road or it's part of a redesign or they're sticking to this one, I'm not really sure yet, but let's launch it. You can see it launches very quickly, in fact. It's a little bit quicker than the current version, and you can see the difference here. Right, so we've got the small icons versus the large tiles. You can see a lot more now on this uh, screen. You also have your other games listed down here and get more games. So there's still the Xbox Live games get, of course, preference but you just can see more on the screen now. Which actually, I kind of like this design. I think it's a little bit more elegant looking. We'll scroll over. And you can see the difference here. My uh, avatar, a lot bigger. And of course, he actually moves now. This is part of having uh, the X and A silver light combo. You can have it in a single app now, which is sort of uh, a nice feature. You can have fully animation and apps. So that's kind of nice. Uh, got your profile. And so you can see there's a lot more options. I don't have as much stuff here. Can... <laughs> the, the animations are pretty funny with this. Uh, you can go right to your achievements. It shows everything. And you can see everything is it's a lot more uh, information rich than the current version. And of course the avatar changed. Now I'll show you that in a moment. First we'll go over here. This is kind of cool. It shows your friends. And those are actually my Xbox friends. Uh, it actually populates that with their, their images, which is kind of nice. And then the messages. I like this. It's very elegant. looks just like the whole um, you know Metro tile theme, so that's a nice design. No game or turn request. Pick a multiplayer game and invite someone to play. So there's your big sign there that we are getting multiplayer gaming with uh, Mango, although there are no current games that I can demonstrate that with. This is really nice now. They have a spotlight screen. Games for Dad. This change has been changing pretty much every day. Gamer Spotlight. Say hello to Paradog. So this is much more like the Xbox Live on the 360. And they're, they're definitely bridging the two and really melting them. I mean, that's why the whole screen is white now and has a different design. Must have Sonic 4, Gamer Spotlight. Announce at E3. And when you have these, what it does is it launches into IE9. and goes right to this, which gives you information on new games. I don't know if these launch now. They're just tiles. It shows you the tiles that are coming up. Brain Challenge, Must Have Hydro Thunder Go. So it's a, it's a way of obviously highlighting and showing stuff that's going on in the universe right now. Now, if you remember, we did a story a few days ago talking about the Xbox Live Extras beta showing up in the marketplace accidentally, people downloading it and it not working. And that, of course, was for Mango, and I've downloaded and installed it. So when I hit Avatar now, it goes right into it. It's kind of neat. It doesn't treat extras necessarily as an extra app. It just sort of integrates it more. And the only thing extras does now is the marketplace stuff. It's actually taking a little while to load here. There you go. So all this is now is just to change your avatar. You know, you buy new stuff in the marketplace. Uh, change your features, change your style. That's the only thing it does. Nice marketplace design here. So you can, you know, buy all your stuff. And, you know, if you're not into that, you don't have to download it. it. You know, nothing big. But overall, it works really nice. It's kind of funny, though, in the marketplace, it has like one and two stars because no one is able to get it to work, but it works just fine. So that is basically your Xbox hub. Um, Really nice design. Like I said, it's the little things that matter here, and they did a really nice job. Now let's hop quickly to the Zoom player. Not a whole lot has changed here either. So you have same features. Got your history. Looks like the history's changed a little bit. You have one major screen, and then uh, all the smaller ones. You have your new. See, I think, oh, so you can see how it's ordered differently now. It goes down a lot further. And of course, apps. Marquee. They changed it. So, 
apps makes much more sense obviously. Now one thing you can notice and I want to actually play that but I just want to show you the differences in the actual screen. Unfortunately I don't have Bad Religion on here. That's okay. So here are the two screens. They move the keys up here. Now this is consistent throughout the UI, right? So you saw it before on the actual uh, drop-down screen. In fact, it basically simulates right there. And it's also on the lock screen. So they're keeping that a lot more consistent, which is sort of nice. Uh, as opposed to them being down here, you also have your favorites right there, uh, your mixer, and then the repeat buttons right there, which is really kind of a uh, smart decision. Because before, I think those things were kind of hidden. I don't even know if you can do that. But that's basically the changes between the two. Uh, Play Smart DJ. That's a new option, of course, in Mango. Everybody's been waiting for that. Smart DJ. Share, more marketplace, save as playlist. So that's kind of nice. You can actually do the playlist now on the device. You don't have any of those options. And that's a little less. <laughs> I guess it's going to keep doing that. So it's picking music from the... Uh, the marketplace for me now and so we'll skip and look at that social distortion I'll put a little music on so it's not too odd it's still opening Some pretty good choices if you're a Bad Religion fan. So that's basically how the Smart DJ works. Uh, really nice feature, you know, it's great if you're home or at work and you want to stream some music. Uh, it's going to be a great addition to have and save as playlist. You just name it there and it'll save to the device. So really cool stuff. Uh, you know, I'm very happy with the changes they've done to the Zune Marketplace and Xbox Live Hubs. I think it's, once again, nothing groundbreaking, but it's going to be those little things that I think is going to improve the user experience. So there you go. Take care, folks.